Welcome to UWA. In this short video, we'll explain how to enrol. If you haven't already watched the video, How to Plan Your UWA Course, we recommend you do that before you try to enrol. In what follows, we're going to lead you through the enrolment process from checking the details we have about you to enrolling in your units. To enrol, you'll need three things your UWA student number, which is available on your letter of offer, your FEMI password, which you can activate through the Unistart website, and your draft first year study plan or whole course study plan. If you are a citizen or a resident of Australia, you'll also need your tax file number. It's best to have these things all handy when you enrol. You can access the UWA enrolment system, Student Connect, via the Unistart website or the current student's homepage. Just log in with your student number and FEMI password. When you enrol for the first time, there are 10 steps to complete. We'll go through these in detail now. First, you'll need to log in to Student Connect with your student number and FEMI password. Check that your personal details are correct. If there's an error, you'll have to make changes in person at Student Central. Follow the link for the map on where to go and make sure you bring appropriate documents with you. If all is correct, click Proceed. Next, check that your addresses are correct and complete. You'll need three, a contact address for correspondence, a home address, and an emergency contact address. The next step collects information required by the Australian Government. Check the accuracy of any information that is already recorded and provide missing information where required. If your citizenship status or Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander status isn't correct, you'll need to visit Student Central with your appropriate documents to have your details updated. Your course details in Step 4 should also be pre-filled, but think carefully if you need to make any changes. If you're planning to study part-time, you should change your expected completion date to a later one. You'll be asked to complete this step each year and it's important to keep us up to date with any changes to your expected completion date. If you think your course is wrong or you would like to change it, contact Student Central. Next, if you know what you want to specialise in, you can nominate your degree specific major and, if you're thinking of taking a second major, nominate that as well. We recommend you use the Advanced Search button. Nominating your major now will allow your lecturers or advisors to see what you plan to study and better advise you. Remember, you can always change your majors later if your interests change. Choose at least one major from the list available in your course, then confirm the changes and finish the step. Refer to the handbook for full details on majors. Alternatively, if you're not ready to nominate your majors, you can skip this step completely. Domestic students will now go to step 6. If you're an international student, skip ahead to step 7. Here, you'll need your tax file number, but don't panic if you don't have it. You'll still be able to enrol. If you are an Australian citizen or the holder of a permanent humanitarian visa, the Commonwealth Assistance step allows you to apply for loans to defer your fees. There are two e-forms, the Request for Commonwealth Support and HEX Help if you want to defer all or part of your tuition fees, and the Request for SA Help Assistance to apply for assistance with your student services and amenities fee. Read these instructions carefully and complete one or both of the forms if you wish to before continuing. If you don't have your tax file number yet, you will need to select Upfront Payment to complete this step and enrol. Don't worry, you can fill out the form again and change your selection any time up until the census date. Step 7 involves a message from the Vice-Chancellor and allows you to select the memberships you'd like. Membership of the UWA Student Guild is free and entitles you to access a wide range of services including academic counselling, representation and advocacy and financial assistance to be actively involved in Guild decisions and sit on committees as well as run for elective office in the Guild. You can also get discounts at all Guild outlets. Membership of UWA Sports is also free and entitles you to vote in UWA Sport and Recreation Association elections. Check out the Guild and UWA Sports websites for more info. Step 8 involves signing your student declaration accepting the policies of UWA your rights and responsibilities, and that you've provided accurate information. It's your responsibility to inform yourself of the important dates across the year and to manage your enrolment. This is a legal declaration, so read it carefully. Finally, you've reached the point at which you enrol in your units. This is where your study plan comes in handy. 
Remember, you're not enrolled until you successfully add your units to complete this step. You'll see that you're already enrolled in three compulsory online modules, which you will complete in the Learning Management System, or LMS. Academic Conduct Essentials teaches you how to conduct yourself academically at university. Communication and Research Skills explains how to research, write and present assignments. And the Indigenous Studies Essentials will teach you the Indigenous context in which UWA and your studies are situated. They give you a great head start at uni, so it's a good idea to complete them before you attempt any assessments in your units. They should only take you about an hour at most, and you must complete them before week 10 in your first semester to avoid a fail on your record. Make sure you enrol in units for both semesters 1 and 2. You can always change your units later if you need to. Have the handbook website open in another tab to help you out with the unit codes, or consult your study plan. To add units, search for the unit code or use the advanced search option, then click the add tick box and add to cart. As you add new units, they will be highlighted in pink. This is how it should look. When you're ready to enrol in your list of units, click the proceed to checkout button. If any of your units are highlighted in green, like this, it means they're invalid and you don't appear to meet the unit rules. For example, you might not have the right prerequisites. These invalid units will be reviewed by your faculty later. They won't stop you from enrolling or registering for classes, so continue on. Check out Ask UWA for more info. Now you've enrolled in all your units. Click the Finish Online Enrollment button to complete the enrollment process. Clicking on Course and Unit in the menu will take you to a summary of your unit enrollment for the current academic year, which you can print off and keep for your reference. You can always return to Student Connect whenever you want to check your units. Remember, your enrolment is your responsibility. Congratulations, you're now officially a student at UWA. Next, you'll need to choose your classes and create your timetable so you're ready for your first class. You can get more advice and help from any of these resources. We hope you enjoy your time at UWA.